make a girl like you, then listen up. Because if you do these things, she's going to become that attached to you that she could just identify as your third leg. Or fourth, if you're lucky. Number one is the triangle method. Lads, don't get too excited. This is not a basketball play. It is, however, guaranteed to give her wet dreams. Next time you see her, you're going to look in her left eye, then down at her lips, and then up at her right eye. I will pre-warn you, it is a voodoo ritual where you're practically selling your soul to the devil. However, on the plus side, even if you're a virgin, she's going to think you're a pro. But I'm just kidding, your soul is safe with me. You know what? Miguel had the right idea in sure thing. Love you like a brother, treat you like a friend. Just to be clear, I'm not promoting incest, the friend part. Uh, Uno reverse. Put a bare bitch in the friend zone. Do you know what? Music has the answers to everything. Let's say she's a 10-10. She knows she can get anyone she wants because they all fall into the trap of giving her their undivided attention. When you act uninterested, she's not used to this at all. It's going to throw her off. She'll be up at night thinking, why do I like this boy? Can't quite put a finger on it. Congratulations, your values just increased significantly. Metaphorically speaking, you are now a shiny blue eyes white dragon Yu-Gi-Oh card. Any talent or skill that you possess, please... Show her that you're good at it. It's like the meet cute in every rom-com ever. It's the guy that's exceptionally good at track or plays drums in his spare time. And the girl's always like there in the distance like... It's not coincidence. Being good at something is sexy as fuck. And it doesn't even have to be like a major talent. It could even be a party trick. And if it involves a tongue like this... Uh -huh. Or if you possess the skill to be able to tie a cherry stalk in a knot... It goes a long way. The callback, in my opinion, is a very underrated strategy. If you have a number, be like, hey, can you call me real quick? I need to speak to you about something. When anybody gets the I need to talk to you about something message, anxiety through the roof, they're going to follow through and call you. Let her call and let it ring out. But then call her back straight away and ask her advice on something. You might not have been, but she's going to think you were busy and had other stuff going on and know you value her opinion. We go, Jim! Petition for guys to send more post-gym selfies. Thank you. You probably think you look like absolute shit. But for a girl, there is just something so manly about seeing a guy get a sweat on after a workout or practice. We are going to be fantasising about that shit for all of eternity. Man like Gandhi. Essentially, you need to be her piece. Make her feel comfortable. Become a human walking stick and let her lean on you. And listen to her rants about the day. As long as they may be, it's giving you extra brownie points. This last one should come with caution tape. May cause ovaries to internally combust. If you have young cousins, nieces, nephews, send her photos of you with them. Your sex ed classes have all been wrong. This is in fact how to get a girl pregnant. See you at the gender reveal. Disclaimer, if you're a little snowflake that gets offended at manipulation tactics and psychological tricks, this video is not for you. So you can just keep scrolling and refrain yourself from commenting. And for the rest of you, I'm disappointed that it's come to this. Because you should know your worth and not even be entertaining this. So only use these if you're on your last leg and you've convinced yourself that this woman is going to be the future mother of your kids. Let the games begin. First things first, we need to flip the switch and press the big red reset button on the relationship. Now, if you've been simping for her, this is going to take every fibre of your being to do. Real Spain without the S. You need to cut off contact for the next two to three weeks. Even a scoop. Only true Harry Potter stands will know what that means. You need to let her forget about you so that you can escape her internal list of uninteresting guys. Well, 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 how the turntables. You're toxic, I'm slipping under. <clears throat> Here we have the Britney method. Tad bit toxic, you need to make her jealous. And the best way to do that is by making out other girls are into you. If you mention other girls that have been messaging you or complimenting you and how you find it weird or annoying, she's going to be absolutely fuming, but also see you as desirable. And she's going to start viewing you in a whole other way. Now, unless you're in it for the long game and you're prepared to see her get with other guys in front of you and potentially watch her fall for someone else, you need to stop being a friend and putting her before you because that's exactly how you got into the friend zone in the first place. So start being selfish and stop putting all your eggs in one basket. Number four, get busy with it. Now, leading girls on is unethical and I'm advising no such thing. But practicing talking to girls and getting other female friends is going to help you with your game and stop you waiting around all day for her to text you. Or you could maybe just get a hobby so that you're less likely to reply within a millisecond of her reaching out. Okay, this isn't even a term I've just made up. It's an actual thing. 
It's basically a phrase that researchers have coined, which is the exact same thing as mirroring. You need to subtly mimic her behaviours, match her energy, respond how she responds, because subconsciously she'll see the synchronicities between you. Because these are like minor surface level things, you're not changing who you are. For example, walking with your right legs at the same time is not going to change your whole entire personality. But what it will do is make her more attracted to you. Okay, these next two blow my mind. Never underestimate a good scent. One that is extremely memorable, and according to a 2006 study increases mood and arousal, is sandalwood. Top three colognes that contain this in my opinion, Bois des Îles by Chanel, Egoiste also by Chanel, and Creed Original Santel. From my own personal research, can 100% confirm this one works. Lastly, Hot Chili Challenge. Take it to Nando's and order extra hot. Or go one further, be playful and do the Hot Chili Chip Challenge. Hear me out, hear me out. It's associated with thrill-seeking and adventure, and triggers pleasure-sensing endorphins. So if they don't work, I'm convinced you're an NPC. as you asked so nicely uh here's the ideas to make her want you more i would just like to articulate before i get into these quite a broad spectrum of dates here and um some of them probably shouldn't be the first so you might just want to keep them in your back pocket for um future reference the late night snack hop i would say is a second date kind of vibe because taking a girl on a late night drive for the first day is sad bit sus for all she knows you could have chloroform and a cloth in your glove box However, this is my absolute fave because there is just something about a late night drive and it's a perfect opportunity to see what a music taste is too. Would highly recommend to use Spotify Blend. But I was going to keep this to myself, but I am going to be taking WizKid's place as special guest at Wireless. Now, but on a real, I can't explain how excited this gets me when you go to different food places for different things. So take it in turns. One of you decide drinks, one of you decide main, one of you decide desserts. Food, good music, immaculate vibes. For number two, we have the Finer Things Club. If you're not cultured enough, I realise that's going to sound like an elitist white person club that Boris Johnson would be a part of. It is not. Low-key Tory activity, so can't lie. Now, it's not everybody's cup of tea, but if you've watched The Office, you know this consists of drinking finer drinks, eating finer food, and discussing high-class things like literature and film. But if you're a commoner like me, and that's a bit too bougie for you, and you haven't watched The Office, that's a date in itself right there. I also realise in this day and age that it's more common than not that the person you're attracted to lives 4,000 miles away. Therefore, seeing things might just be for you. Think FaceTime plus Picto Chat plus Netflix and chill. You can FaceTime, chat and watch things like Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, YouTube, all on this plugin called Cena. Oh my god, the little Twitch streamers are going to love this one. Play video games together. Real ones will know Rocket League and Mario Kart can get a bit heated. As long as no one's rage quitting, a little bit of competitiveness goes a long way. Especially in the bedroom. Yes, Mario Kart can make your sex life better. Play your cards right and you might be in for seeing a Princess Peach. If you were born in the 2000s, you might not even know who Professor Layton is and that is very sad. He was a detective in a riddle solving game on Nintendo, which I had a love-hate relationship with because one time I couldn't solve it and I got so angry I broke my DS and then resorted to YouTube for cheat codes and walkthroughs. I digress. You need to unleash your inner Professor Layton for this one because it's an escape room. First of all, super fun. But more importantly, it tells you if they've got the brain to think like a murderer. Don't take that for gospel though, they could just be really intelligent. And when you're on a time constraint and put under pressure, it brings out the funniest sides in people. It can either go great and you work together so well as a team, she's going to be thinking, I can do life with this person, this man comes with solutions. Or horribly wrong and you've got content for the group chat. Next up, an emotional roller coaster. Theme parks are just good vibes and you can't really go wrong. Unless, of course, she doesn't like roller coasters. Adrenaline pumping. Dopamine released. That roller coaster won't be the only thing she's riding. It'll be a Ferris wheel, obviously. Naked Mora. You're just naked, together, all day. That's the date. Things guys do that girls love. Five head activities. So underrated, it's not even funny. A lot of us girls have forehead insecurities. We really be out here thinking we look like Mega Mind. We all try to cover it at any given opportunity. So when you pull our hair out of our face and give us forehead kisses, ah, oh, it makes us feel special. Because you love us even if we do look like the female Dr. Eggman. Impeccable taste. Number two is the IMAX in Climax. When a guy takes an interest in the girly shows that we watch, with no ulterior motive, he's just doing it because he knows we enjoy it, and then actually gets into it. Can't lie, if you do that, much higher chance of opening the gates of Mordor and making a scream like the Nazgul. There is no better way to put you in a good mood than when the guy that you like sends you a text out of nowhere to let you know he's 
thinking about you. Or if we're on our period and you come with our favourite snacks and things that are going to comfort us. I'm getting heart palpitations just thinking about it. If you do this, good luck trying to get rid of her because she will be attached for all eternity. If you know what this reference is, congratulations, you're elite. This is so underrated, so hear me out. When you're holding hands and they do the thing, and in public oh my god hand squeezes and thigh grabs are also up there with this when he does the four h's oh my god respectfully have my babies first up good hygiene when he looks after himself showers regularly and knows the difference between smelling good and being one step away from having a personal lynx cloud that's my shit right there i know the bar's extremely low and some of you still can't pass it Number two, honesty is the best policy. When he's open and honest and actually communicates, panties are dropping. Pair that with being humble and hilarious, and I think we have good grounds to replace one of the members of the Fantastic Four. Second to last, the human belt. The way I have butterflies right now even just thinking about this. When you pull us in at the waist. Uh, it's giving Tarzan and Jay, Lois Lane and Clark Kent, Peter Parker and MJ. Mentally, I'm there. Literally is that. It's a superhero effect. Because you feel like you're being protected. Yo. And it's just super sexy. Which all superheroes are. My career is over. Just get dating advice from Marvel. To be honest, I've really saved the best till last here because it definitely takes top spot. When you're walking and the guy stands closest to the road. If you do that, I guarantee you're a good person and you stay loyal as fuck. Because essentially, what those actions are telling me is that you would die for me. You would die to protect my legacy. <coughs> Fuck me, that really hurt my throat. But yeah, uh, standards are low. We don't really ask for much, to be honest. Especially that last one. 